Hello viewers, welcome to today's show This is Teens Untold with me, Auntie Marge. Today we are talking about love and lust. What is the difference between the two? With me today, I have, I have two guests. One of them is Nyambu and the one is Joe. Nyambu is a student and also a gospel minister. Joe is also a student and an artist. And with no further ado, I'm going to welcome them so that they can they can introduce themselves. Karibu Nisana. Thank you. Uh, so my name is Jedidia Nyambura Geshamba, mostly known as Miss G. I am a student and I am a minister of the gospel. Karibu Sana Nyambura. Asante. Um, hi, my name is Joe. I am an artist and I'm also a student and I'm glad to be here. Karibu Nisana. Asante. Asante. I'm so happy to have you both. We are happy, happy to, to be here. here. <laughs> like a whole yeah. life perspective on yeah. girls, side yeah. and up, of the boy, child side. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so happy and so grateful and honored for you for you guys honoring the invitation. Okay. I'm just hoping it up the energy. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> yeah, it's there yeah. are like two of you, yeah. Yeah. but I know God is faithful, yeah. and you're going to do it. Yeah. At least you're going to empower mm. our young ones out there, mm. and at least you're going to help them understand yeah. what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So, today I want us to discuss about love and lust. Mm. This is something that I've realized, like it's confusing a lot of our young people out yeah. there. Mm. Totally. At times it lasts, Absolutely. and they confuse it with love. Mm. You know, at yeah. times it love, and of course, they confuse it with lust, yeah. so they dash, they just don't get it. Yeah. And so um, I saw the need of us coming together, and of course having a discussion about all that, mm. so that at least we can give, the, we can at least let them have the insight eh? True. of how, like, what it's all about. Yeah. So, yeah. as they say, ladies first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In your own, like, own perspective. Yeah. You know, what do you understand? What is the difference between love and lust? And lust. Okay, so because in this situation you're talking about uh, since love and lust in relationships. Yeah. Yeah, so for, I'll start with the lust side. The last, uh, the normal definition of it is a strong craving for something. Yeah. But now in specifically this, this, uh, this, um, need to add your concept. Uh, mm -hmm. Lust is the so strong craving for for sexual satisfac mm -hmm. satisfaction. Mm -hmm. So in a relationship where the main thing is sexual satisfaction, mm -hmm. that is definition of lust. But for love, it is bigger than that. It's bigger than just the sexual satisfaction. There is the aspect of growing each other, maybe career-wise, maybe spiritual-wise, um, socially. There's that aspect of, of developing each other in other ways other than just the sexual fulfillment part of the relationship. Mm -hmm. So that is the difference between love and lust. Love and lust. Yes. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before to respond on that, uh, huh? let's hear from Joe. Um, what is your, the difference between love and lust, your perspective? Thank you, Antmaj. Um, first, I'll start by saying mm -hmm. that Gigi is very correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lust comes from a point of craving something or a desire, mm -hmm. if you will. But love, love according to the word, is who we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love is, is wanting the best for the, for other, the, person. For the other person. Yeah. But it, it not necessarily means it suits you. Mm -hmm. It's wanting the best for the for next the person. person. Mm -hmm. Whereas lust is more mm -hmm. self-centered mm -hmm. than it is to the other person. Mm -hmm. So... The main difference between love okay. and lust for me is that one is selfish, mm -hmm. while the other complements the selfish. two of the. Yeah. So yeah. The other person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much mm -hmm. for that, yeah. <laughs> and I'm so grateful. At least love to Nasema. Uh, it is a situation whereby uh, love gives yeah. more, yeah. even yeah. biblically, yeah. to know not to Love is kind. Love mm. is patient. Love is all that. Mm. Where lust is like you desire that other person and it is very selfish because mm. it is very self-centered huh? mm. okay there's a point you said like uh when it love love is like when you want the best for that other person mm -hmm. you know when you give that other person yeah. mm. okay does it mean when you love 
you put yourself aside because totally. love is more about giving um you you said it's giving and of course uh, wanting the best for that other yeah. person mm. so is love all about giving and uh, we forget about yourself totally because mm -hmm. let's let's take an example from the bible let's take an example from god himself mm -hmm. in the book of john he says that for he so loved no. the world that mm -hmm. he gave mm -hmm. His only son, that whoever believes in him shall have an eternal life. Yeah. And you all know what Jesus had to do for us to gain this promise. Yeah. You get. So he is God. He is he who knows and he who created everything. Mm -hmm. He says that he takes away from himself. You see, Jesus was seated at the bosom of the Father. Yeah. But the Father looks at us he loves us that he gives Not that which is guy. dear to him yeah. sacrificing no one will akuna mtu angehangetaka kukana christ karibu na yeye even the father yeah. alikona bambeka christ akiwa mm -hmm. but he, he 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 saw that we needed something better mm -hmm. and he wanted something better for us that's mm. why he gave yeah. he he did not take away from mm -hmm. us he gave, he yeah. gave. but i'm thinking in this line mm -hmm. ali to pair he gave us his only son. Yeah. This was his only son. Mm. Kumanisha alimpenda kwanza. Yeah. Yeah. Sidiwa, yeah. Alimpenda kwanza. Alafu aka, alikuwa nampenda sana. Mm. Na akatupenda. Sisi yeah. na yeah. Diumana, he Akapenda. gave us his only son mm. to come and die for our sins. Mm. So in my thinking and I though I want also uh, this is a question like I'm putting across for both of you. Mm -hmm. Um does it mean it should, should shouldn't shouldn't it start from us first like you loving yourself first yeah. you know not necessarily like just giving yeah. it away you know because you say you cannot give something that you don't, you don't have, have. Don't have yeah. you know yeah. so yeah. like uh you must love yourself first because mm. when you love yourself mm. that is the only time you can yeah, you, you can, can give love because yeah. if you don't know how to love if you don't know what love is mm. how do you even Reciprocate. You know, let me, let me address that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in the Bible, it talks about uh, love your neighbor. The, the, Jesus says that the two greatest commandments is mm -hmm. first, love God, and then the second is love your neighbor as you love yourself. yourself. Right. Now, when we talk about love and lust, mm -hmm. here's the thing. The moment that you, as, as, as God, as, as Jesus said it, it, like you love your neighbor how you love yourself. As you said, you first of all love yourself. The moment you love yourself, you know that there are things that you wouldn't want to do to yourself, mm -hmm. to endanger yourself. You mm -hmm. get, you want to become better. You want to do things better. You want to live a nice life. You want to have the good things of life. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to a relationship, the moment you have embraced yourself well enough, mm -hmm. and then you apply this concept of love your neighbor as you love yourself, mm -hmm. then you will realize that there are things that I will do because I love myself, I wouldn't want such to be done to me. To me. Mm -hmm. You get. Yeah. So if 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 because I because this this relationship is based on this love we're talking about, mm -hmm. then I will know. Um, yeah, truly, my sexual desires I feel like this, but I know if something like this was done to me, I wouldn't feel so good. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? I sacrifice this desires I have and I put the other person first because I would want them to put me first. Yeah. So the moment that you get a, a grip of love that is for yourself, then you're able to give it. As you said, you can't give something that you, you don't, don't have. have. Yes. You get you can't give something you don't have. Mm -hmm. So the first place is Kwanza Jipende. Depende. Jua it. what is good for you, what is not good for you. So that now when it comes to the relationship, you can mm. give it. You can give what is in within you because the moment you're going to nini, una, una get into a relationship, you don't have anything to give, you're expecting the other person to give you, give any, you expect to to come a fill void fulani. That's when lust comes in mm -hmm. because all there is is craving to be given something because yes. cravings come from something we don't have, right? We, have, yeah. we crave for something we don't have. So the moment how jajazwa na hi upendo, then you'll be craving from the other person. Yeah. You'll just be taking, taking, taking. There's nothing you're really giving. 
That's the point. But, yeah. yeah, that is not the point I wanted us to yeah. make it clear mm. that love is not all about giving. You know, for you to give love, you must you give have yourself. Fasted. So let's mm. it start for from us yeah. all the way to mm. that other person. Because mm. if you don't love yourself enough, you cannot I love share the same person. with others. True. So you have that void in you that you'll always be looking forward to that other, other person, person feeling it. Feeling it. Eh? True. Higher. No, out to the love now. We go to the last. Mm. How do you tell, like, um, this person is lasting for me, not actually loving me? Mm. How do you tell? Now here comes in a relationship, see, mm. you? like, uh, there's a boy and a girl, and of course, uh, it's not love, but last. Yeah. How do this boy get to know? How does the girl get to know it is not love, but last? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'll start. The first, as we said before, for love, it's, it, it, it has a lot to do with giving, yeah? Mm -hmm. But for lust, uh, you like, now, when it comes to now the sexual, the, the sexual part of it, you ask yourself, if we take away our sexual pleasures and the desires and all that, if we take away that from the relationship, mm -hmm. can there be anything that is remaining? If there is nothing, then that relationship is based on lust. Mm -hmm. If apart from the sexual satisfaction in that relationship, if apart from that there is nothing else that can hold it together, then that is a, a relationship that is based on lust. Mm -hmm. But if you take away the sexual part of it and there is still something solid, there is still something to keep you moving, then that is in the, love. In that relationship. In that relationship, mm -hmm. then that is love. Okay, now, okay, you're talking of, um, like, the sexual part of it. Yes. Huh? Like, uh, when it's last, mm. it's all about. Okay, my question was, huh? must it be necessarily sex? Could it be, like, something else? You say, for example, mm -hmm. here comes a, um, a boy and a girl, huh? maybe uh, who depend on this other person, you know, mm -hmm. for money, you know, yeah. for um, upkeep. Mm. you know for mm. those kind of things huh? yeah. and we find that when you take away that that mm. you know yeah. the giving of money the upkeep you know this is what they depend on mm. this other person mm -hmm. maybe Can it's it no more so my question here is mm -hmm. does is it is is it sex only ama even those other things so as as we said before Lust is craving. The mm -hmm. definition of lust mm -hmm. is craving. Mm -hmm. So the moment that all there is to it is satisfying the craving, either mm -hmm. sexual or money oh, or, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> trying for, for, you, for you want to fill that void, mm -hmm. if that is all the basis to that relationship, okay. then that is about lust. Mm -hmm. But if there is the aspect of you giving that is willingly you actually do want to give it you actually do want to 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 invest in this not because of any other things any other thing but you actually do want to do it mm -hmm. then that is love okay yeah thank you so much mm -hmm. for that so we come to you and you are we are, we are here you are we are thinking in the line of like now the last yeah. mm -hmm. how do you know like um now we want to hear like um, on a man's perspective eh? last how do you tell it's last, not love? Um, I'll, I'll start by saying this. You see, last, last desires to, to be filled. Mm -hmm. That's where, where last comes from. It, it comes from a place of having a vacuum inside you mm -hmm. that you desire to, to be, be filled. filled. For yeah. example, if I'm lasting for, let's say, creeps mm -hmm. let's say i've not taken creeps for for mm -hmm. a while yeah. and i see them displayed on a shelf i'll crave for them mm -hmm. because it's something that i haven't had for a long time but it's something that i, I really guess. need to mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. i get yeah and this is the same as last last comes where where the heart has a vacuum for love mm -hmm. and it desires to be filled with something that is equivalent mm -hmm. to, to what it craves. Yeah. You see, if 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 I'm, I I want to to drink water and you come with some juice, it will still serve the same function, although it, it won't quench satisfy. my thirst mm. the same way that water could. So last last comes where you get to a point where you desire 
to 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 feel love or you desire to to have someone loving you and you mistake that for companionship you mistake that for for interaction between sex mm -hmm. and it's 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 wrong because hapa ni 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 place yenye una unataka kitu fulani happen uh -huh. but chenye unataka si chenye una receive yes. una get mm -hmm. na unapatanga if if it's a lady she sees this incredible guy and she thinks that automatically when i when i approach this guy and we start and dating I eh, and i give my all mm -hmm. i will receive so yeah, yeah. it come from it doesn't come from from at at necessarily i want to go sleep with this guy mm -hmm. it starts from i desire I something. something i desire to be filled up with something, something. i desire yeah. some kind of attention mm -hmm. get, and it's okay mm -hmm. but where we go wrong ni penye tunaleta the flesh kwa history mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. when you start seeing that you're getting attracted to things that were not in your initial mindset mm -hmm. then yeah, that's that where is, you're going wrong yeah. if you know this is not what i want but i'm doing it for purpose of somebody else then yeah, it is. it's not right it can be for money mm -hmm. it, it it doesn't necessarily be you need to for be money. Yeah, it yeah, be for it money, money or anything, anything else. but the moment where you find yourself i i cannot speak for the rest how you can identify lust from someone else mm -hmm. but from my own experience mm -hmm. lust hits has hit in my life moments where i have wanted to be filled with something, something that i cannot I find too. from myself mm -hmm. something that i need to be given from someone else, yeah. Someone else. Yeah. yeah so basically it's all about like uh, when you lack that self for you exactly. yeah. you know because at times you lack like for you to avoid all this mm. there has to be self awareness mm. knowing knowing that like even if there is this void mm. it does not necessarily mean huh, mm. when i do a b c d like it will be fair yeah. you know yeah. i might make that decision based on how i feel yeah. on the inside and mm. end up making the wrong decision, decision. Yeah. so the best thing is like first having like Feel Being yourself. Aware. Yeah. Yeah, feel yourself as you had said earlier. We, mm. Love words, yourself, yeah. you know. Mm. Believe in yourself. Mm. Just know that you're worth. Mm. Like regardless of everything that is happening it's around you. It's the same you. way you've said. Mm -hmm. If if you have a well that is full, mm -hmm. if you've dug a well in your heart and filled it, mm -hmm. you can be able to share, to share exactly. because it's something that you possess. Yes. But I cannot be I cannot be someone with a net worth of maybe a thousand. Mm -hmm and you have a net worth of a million mm -hmm. and i want to give money to you no yeah, it can't happen it can't must happen. be the reverse it's mm -hmm. where a place of abundance meets yes. a place of need yes. not where a place of need meets it's a, a place, place of, of abundance, abundance. Yeah. that is very true okay something else i was thinking as as, as you guys were talking eh? mm. there's something else that came up and i was thinking of a situation where by there there here are two young people mm -hmm. uh, who are together and of course think that they love and uh, they are both in need of sex you have to do that way okay. You get the, 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 the aspect of self-control. Self-control does not come to a place where there is no need of it. Yes. You get. Out at the same self-control. At self, says in the self-control. Now, I'm not going to be able up to up IV. Like if we are talking about self-control, ni lenye, I'm craving for juice. It's over here, but I'm not taking it. Yeah. You get so the, the the sexual desires in our bodies because we are flesh. I mean, we 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 have bodies, and these bodies incline to that side. So it's perfectly normal. Don't give the excuse of I felt it, I wanted, I what? No, everyone wants it. All right, yeah. everyone has the desire for it. But here's the thing: there has to be something that is higher than your desires. There has to be something that is higher than your cravings, and that is the word of God. And so when it says have self-control, it means it is right here, and you have the craving for it. Every single circumstance is drawing you towards that. But you say. No. no. But you say no. Perfect. Yes. Thank you very much for that. Not a kakusia from your side. So, what happens? I, I, I guess it's the same as preparing good food. If you, you understand, when, when you're cooking meat, there's a stage where the aroma is so intense, mm. so sweet, you, you practically want to take the pan off no one's a cookie up get but if you do that 
kuna season in hautaweka mm. maybe hiyo time ndo umeka kitungu na nyawe imeanza kufry kujeka nyanya labda ulikuwa ongeze peas kwa hiyo yako mm-hmm. and stuff so yeah it's it's ready for consumption but it's not the best time to eat uh-huh. you, you ever had this it's it's an ugly saying but it's also a wise saying yeah. the one who eats last eats best it's best yeah. or rather the one who laughs last Love laughs best. best when when we take and we are humans we tend to take things rationally we tend to kuharakisha vitu na good things wait yeah. yes zinaweza kuwa ziko perfect your time but the same way venye unaweza kuwa kwa kitchen ukikook food food usikieni kama umeshiba na hata uzakula una get mm. una feel umeshiba uko zile za hadi hiyo food ikiwa ready hutaki mm. una get yeah. not because the food isn't good food kwanza season ndio inakonga the best actually the people who who waited in the living room the ones you come to serve what appreciate your food una get mm-hmm. but the moment we dive into things we are not ready for mm-hmm. they cease to become good and they become poison to our lives yeah. una get yes. so yeah we 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 are flesh and flesh is subject to temptation but until we are ripe until we are ready to be served then whatever we will be consuming will be useless yeah. jeita kwanga na any nutrients mm. tutashiba katikati tutashiba kabla tutoke kitchen una get tena tunafika sitting room tena eh tena yetu meketi sasa chini kama familia tunafikiria mm. tukule pamoja mm. umeshiba unapata watu wengine ndio and that's why you find guys were so connected before they were married una get mm-hmm. they was so together but then they they get married they get to that point where they are not being cooked in the sufuria mm. and they have been taken on a plate and set before men mm. and when they come before men unajua kipikiwa ulikuwa unapikiwa kitchen peke yako mke wa kiasi but when you are set before men there has to be an appearance and a glory that has to be appear for you to mm-hmm. manifest in their mm-hmm. lives yeah. and that's why you find people walikonga pamoja before wane walikonga tight na walikonga then something happened that broke off that spark mm-hmm. which may, maybe additive ikongezewa mlikonga unapika hiyo food mkaanza story ya kuonja onja mkasahau mm. food yeah. kaungua mm-hmm. ama mkongeza na get yeah so, yeah. so, yeah. so even if itakuwa utakuwa yes mna mna have sex and it's fun during the first times na nini god alete vitu zi shake una get akishake ikuwe ile meal yenye mlikuwa mna enjoy pamoja amwezi enjoy mm-hmm. tena you either one of you is already full ama mmoja mm-hmm. amepoteza appetite yeah so yeah awesome. has such a brilliant explanation yeah. yani ime ime explain kila kitu yeah. and what is coming out from both, both of you what i've picked is self control yeah it has to be there regardless whether you want it you need to understand when you to me it's out of self awareness be aware of yourself because with lack of self awareness hata kuji control itakuwa ngumu unajua because self awareness ndio itafanya ujue kweli ni mimi nataka hii ni juice iko mbele yangu lakini sitakunywa kwa sababu gani it is not the right time yeah. you know mm-hmm. maybe it was meant for a dessert pale mm-hmm. mwisho you know it was meant to be used as a, as a dessert it was meant to be used kama kuteremsha chakula after I've eaten everything else kwa buffet you know mm-hmm. so the catch word is we need to exercise self control yeah. and i'm so grateful manzek for your explanations hiyo ni poem but because of time tutafikisha hapo for today but i'm sure we are coming back next time yeah. at least to have to endeleshe kutoka hapo because we need to understand now that here comes what we are going into this whole temptation mm-hmm. how do they do is still is is there like a redemption time mm-hmm. like when is a redeem and continue living life no more mm-hmm. and what do they go about it sawa sawa yeah. but before we leave nataka kila mtu atupe parting shot mm-hmm. use as nyabura as nyabura mm-hmm. and you, you just give us a parting shot before we end the show and then we'll meet up next time. Okay. Yes. Uh, so so uh, there's something that I have come to learn over my the period of time I have worked with God. And there's a thing. Whatever God says, uh, as he created the world, he said that everything was good. 
including the rules he had set in place, the principles he had set in place, those things that he had set in place, he said it was good. And here's the thing, the moment you're able to practice what the Lord says or what the word of God says, you are assured of good results. And what God says to be good, I promise you, it is good. And no matter what, no matter how, 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 how situations are changing all around us, no matter how difficult it is to practice the word, please practice it. Because at the end of it all, the results are good. If it says, stay pure, he means exactly that, and he knows there are good results. Practice the word. God, God is not done with love, by the way. There are, there are so many people who think that the era where relationships used to stand and where love used to rule is over. But... God is changing that and I just want to, to encourage whoever whoever is in this that you can do it. You you can settle down with someone, with one person, you can build a family. Like the Bible did it. Guys in the Bible did mm-hmm. it and they accomplished it. So why not us? As long as we follow his principles and as long as we know that love comes from within, not without then we are good to go. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. I'm so grateful to have you both here. And it's such an honor. Thank I'm so looking care. forward for next time. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of energy. <laughs> but I'm loving it. And yeah. of course, the wisdom. And I'm sure other young people out there. Yeah. And I'm sure they, are, they have learned. Omelan, and of course they are going to put that into perspective. So, Santini Sana. That is all we have for today. Until next time. This is Wema TV, the voice of hope. Wema TV, the voice of hope.